Hello again, okay, here in this video, some sort of a reply, that's right, a reply to this, Brandon Kurt V, again, I showed you my last video up, okay, but there's some things I want to show you, okay, Brandon Kurt V, from what I'm now seeing, isn't your average troll, it isn't the Brandon Kurt that calls into my radio show, that I know of, I'll say that I know of. But, what I'm about to show you tells me that the false flagging video I posted up this morning and pushing towards, I'm suspecting Diana's behind that. And I told you that I have flagged her videos before I ever fought back, which I did. And of course, nothing ever came of it, okay? And I know that Roberts flagged them and nothing ever came of it, okay? But in light of what I seen happen before my eyes this morning, okay, anybody that knows anything about YouTube knows that if you post a comment up under somebody's video, you have a right to remove it. And you can remove it at any given time, okay? If you remove it right after posting it up, let's say you make a mistake in spelling or whatever, right? Or you change your mind and you don't want it up. Then it won't show up under a person's inbox where the comments are. But if you leave it there for a while, once it shows up where you go to your personal account and you go inbox where the comment section is and you click on the comments, once it actually shows up in there, if the person comes back and removes it from the video, it removes it from the video only. It does not remove it from inside the YouTube personal comment section. In other words, go to your account, go to inbox, click on the comments, and it shows you a list of all comments on every single video that anybody's ever left. If they don't remove it within a short amount of time, once it shows up there, it's there. And even if you remove the comment, it stays there. So that person who owns the account can see that you have left that comment. But it's no longer on the video because you have removed it. Okay. The only way it can come out of that area is through somebody who has access to your account. Okay? I'm saying this for a reason. Because, see, last night I had the comment come in from this Brandon Kirk that I showed you in my video that I posted up first thing today. The first video you saw come up today. At the end of that video, you'll notice, and you know what I said about this person, okay? Well, I decided to do a reply, which I'm doing right now to this person. Because I had some things I wanted to say. When, in light of things that I had to say, suddenly got changed. Why? Because I never deleted the comment. I left it there deliberately so I could go back to the comment, click on the name, go to their account, grab their name and their ULR. Okay? And it was there this morning when I got up. That's right, along with my um, false flagging campaign that you people put on me and I got my one strike against my account that I've never had on this account and now it makes sense see when I went there this morning it was there I showed it to you in the video I posted up this morning that's right and now it's not there it's been removed from that part of my account so if I go into my inbox and I click on comment section, not my inbox, but my comment, after I go to my inbox, I select comments to see all comments, it was there last night, it was there this morning, so I went back there to grab the name, and it was gone, it was gone, it just vanished, it disappeared, okay, and the comment was also removed from the video, but it wouldn't remove itself from that part of my mail either, so that suggests to me, because I've seen this a thousand times before, somebody removes their comment after it's already in your comment section under your personal where you go to your inbox where all the comments are listed once it shows up there it always stays there even if they've removed their comment it's still there it's just not under the video for public view anymore okay but it is in your account so you can view it but nobody else could right well it disappeared this way it just disappeared it's gone so that there tells me that there's a high chance that this is a YouTube employee who's doing the false flagging, and it makes sense. That's why the that's why the flagging of Diana, or literally Diana Boston's 
videotaps on me, never accomplished nothing. That's right. It's probably why my YouTube account was taken down yesterday. And it's why I had a false flag message sent to me. And that's why I had a strike one that I've never had no strikes on this channel since day one laid on me this morning. YouTube is totally my account. Let me show you this, okay? Watch this. Okay, this is a comment that was left on my page last night. That's right, on TFL Truth. And I showed you this in my other video that I posted up this morning. The so-called troll, this person who's been tending to be Brandon Kirk, okay? And they left this up last night, okay? And you know what I feel about this person, right? But in light of that, what I've got to show you here next is going to probably blow you away. Because it blew me away. Okay. It appears this troll, who's out to flag my account and have it removed in the next 30 days, isn't a normal troll. And it probably is not Brandon Kirk. It appears this is an actual YouTube employee. That's right. This person here is probably an actual YouTube employee themselves. I'm going to show you why I say that, okay? So watch out. Okay, right here. This is what came in. Okay, right here. This is what came in. Okay, right here. This is what came in yesterday. Don't worry, Bill. I will get this channel flagged too. And my goal is to close it down by the end of the month. Keep making them and I will flag them away. This came from this parasite right Okay, something to show you here. This morning I posted uh, the video that you've seen already, or the first one I uploaded to me now. Um, my recent activity on my channel, okay? And in that video, you recall me showing you the comment from the Brandon and Kirk, okay? I'm going to give you a little comparisons, but see, I got ready to take and uh, do a video reply to this moron who thinks that they have a right to false flag my channel, right? And going on a campaign to make sure they remove me. Remember I showed you that earlier? Well, I was going to do a reply to this person because I got a few personal things I wanted to say. So I come over here, which I was just in this morning, okay, to grab, to go to the account so I can grab the name, right? Well, look at here. I'm in my comment section. Guess what you're not seeing, people? It's gone. It's gone, people. I didn't remove it. I didn't delete it. I come over here to go back to that channel. I left it here deliberately so that I could access that to go back to the channel to do a reply on it. And so I come over here to grab it, and it's gone. There it is, gone. As you see, it's not here. The comment. Okay, that comment was under my double dip recession video, so let's go there and see if it's been removed. Facing double dip recession. Hello, young day. Come on, open up. Well, I see the comment's been removed completely. Now, that's normal. The person can come and remove their comment, right? We all know that you can remove your comment even 24 hours later. But once the comment appears in this section under your personal settings, when you remove the comment, it does not remove itself from here. It only removes itself from the video itself. But it has been removed from here as well. So I guess our Brandon Kirk, who is going to false flag me, is a YouTube employee. Now doesn't that make sense? That would be a YouTube employee because it would not disappear out of here 24 hours later. Once they show up here, even if you remove your comment from under the video 24 hours later or so, they're still going to be here. It's still going to be accessible or seeable from here, your comments under your personal account. It won't be seen under the video for the public no more, but you'll still be able to see it here. 
It was here this morning. It's gone now. They've removed it, but from both spots. And the only person who could remove it from here would have to be a YouTube employee. I wanted to point that out. Okay, and in the light of what I just showed you, my words for this person, that I wanted to say to begin with, whether it be a YouTube employee or not, this is what I have to say. True force loneliness is already established. True force loneliness affects millions of people globally every single year. That's the reason people follow me, come on to my show, that are living the life of true force loneliness. Because it's not a conspiracy theory, it's not bullshit, it's for real. As I have explained and showed a million times over, you force flagging me to take me out is not going to stop true force loneliness. Even if I stop doing videos tomorrow and never come up on YouTube again, people living true force loneliness will always be speaking out. It's already established. You cannot stop it. It's done. It's over with. False flag in me is a waste of your breath. I can't help it that you hate lies or that you hate truth. I need you to like your life of lies. I can't help it that you want double standards in society and you don't want equalness and equality between all. I can't help it that you like the division. That you think that your shit don't stink, that you're above somebody else. When you're not above somebody else, you put your pants on the same way everybody else puts their pants on. But it's that mindset and that mentality of yours that has allowed this world to become as corrupt as it has, that's leading you into Third World War, that's going to get your ass dead. It's going to get your family killed. So when something bad happens to one of your family members, don't you be crying and whining and saying how something needs to be done. Because nothing needs to be done. Because it's what you like. It's what you enjoy. You enjoy evil. That's right, you enjoy evil. This world is the way it is because us, the people, globally make it the way it is. If we wanted a world where people got along and people could have a happy life and live their life on this earth happily, we would have that world. And the reason we don't have that world is because people never grew up. They failed. They never grew up. They never become an adult. They failed. All they want to do is act like a bunch of little children. Matter of fact, the children are smarter than the adults. No lie. Animals are smarter than human beings. Because the only thing you want to do is make trouble for other people think that you're above somebody else. Well, you can't stop TFL even by taking me out. It's already established. Millions of people live it and know they live it. Who will continue to speak out even if I'm not here? So you're wasting your time.